Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. How do you get started writing music for a play? Well, it, it's not like writing a song, and it's not like writing a piece of instrumental music in a concert situation. Uh, it's not even really like writing music for a movie. I'm starting a show. Let's talk about it. So over the years, I've done um, hundreds of plays. Uh, I thought I was going to be an actor once upon a time, but uh, mercifully, the world has been spared that. But as a composer for theater, I've been called on to write music in all genres from a whole bunch of different time periods. I've collaborated with remarkable musicians, actors, directors, designers. It's a unique opportunity to flex a little bit, learn some history, uh, talk about all kinds of fascinating ideas because, of course, plays love to dig into ideas. So the current play, and this I really am not really doing too many shows um, anymore, but I have one show this season. It's called The Sound Inside. It's by Adam Rapp, and it tells the story of a Yale um, writing professor and her relationship to a student who's sort of mysterious. So what do I do first? First thing I do is I take the PDF, open up the old iPad, and read it a, baj a bajillion times. Here's the script just on the, uh, on the screen. And typically when you get a script, it'll show you a couple of important things, the character names, and then right away it'll set the time and the place. Music and sound design sets time and place. Now, as it happens, this is a fairly short play, but it has a kind of a continuous flowing energy. Did you notice it only has two characters in it? It's very intimate. We get a lot of what's called direct address. Someone is speaking directly to the audience, and it creates the sense of being let in on something. When we first read this play, it was almost pre-pandemic, it read like a thriller. Who is this person that the teachers met, this young student? Maybe even like a bit of a murder mystery. It's funny because now, looking at it now, it feels very much like a, like a pandemic um, allegory, as my director said to me today. It's a parable about going down into illness and recovering. Kind of fascinating. Well, the, the next thing is to have a couple of conversations with your director and designer. And so, you know, here's like brief notes for me. So what I want to know is what's the director's take on the ideas in the play? What kind of music might support that if they have any ideas about that? And then I want to know some nuts and bolts. Um, for instance, What's the set like? How much scene change music are we going to have? Will we underscore the action? All those things become very, very important to a composer as we begin thinking about what we're going to do. Because of the intimate nature of the play, the cerebral setting of the university, um, the sort of direct address qualities, we thought keeping the instrumental scale tight and small would be a good idea. We've decided to do this with just piano. And what that means for me is it's kind of a lowest hanging fruit as a composer because, of course, I play piano pretty well. But I'm certain that I'm going to have to expand outwards from the piano, pad the piano sound, have various kinds of instrumental piano sounds. Well, my very first um, impulse then is to go ahead and build myself a piano that I think works with the show. And so I've created a, a piano tech instrument here based out of the U4, which is an upright piano model in piano tech, um, felted sound. Now, I don't know if you know piano tech at all, but it gives you all kinds of controls over a bunch of things, including hammer hardness, temperament, things like that. Well, I'm going to play you um, just maybe...
some of the felted sound. And then check this out. I can unfelt it. Here's a pedal. Piano Tech has all kinds of controls, and one of the ones that I like the most is the ability to set up the room. Here's the back wall. What kind of microphones I'm using? Uh, models, of course, but uh, U87s, Omnis, and then a cardioid pointing back towards the back of the piano. Set the stereo width. I'm actually thinking a little wider. I think that would be nice. So that's my basic sound. I'm going to be writing with that sound. I have also added um, some multiband compression to the piano so I can bash it if I need to. I've found that a tiny bit of um, uh, Decapitator, which is kind of a saturation plugin, goes a long way. And then just a channel strip to give me a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Set up a pad, set up a couple of piano sounds, and then just go to town. I'll be writing a couple of themes, and I'll let you in on those as I do it. I'll even be bringing in the actor and director to do some live interactive improvisation. If I'm going to underscore her, I may want to actually work with her on those monologues, create something that has some shape. Well, it's going to be an interesting process, and this is just the first video on the writing the music for The Sound Inside. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe, ding the bell, and you'll be notified when I do my next video. I'll see you next time.